Guys, how's it going? It's Farmer Nick. Welcome back to another uh, Farming Simulator 2019 back here on Automox once again, episode 11. Today we have the chopper, and we only have the chopper for another four hours, so I have to like I have four hours to get the rest of this chopped up. Hopefully, should be able to get this done. But the custom harvesting crew want the chopper back here very shortly. So we were having troubles with the pit. We got a kind of a mess going on over there. We won't go show that. I don't care. We can't. It ain't that bad, honestly. We can go show you this. So what we're having the issue is right now is we cannot dump anymore on the pit. So I think we've left it too long, and that's all we're going to get on it. I've tried a different pit. Same situation. Not working. So I am not 100% sure. Ryler's not sure. Ryler is not able to get on right now. They're still spreading manure. So what we're going to do is I went the custom harvest crew had a bunch of these pull type wagons for when they go around to the small dairy farmers. They use them because they can't get their big wagons in there and they fill silos and stuff like that. So they had all these wagons kicking around and I says, can you maybe bring me some or can I come get some of these wagons and I'll fill them up and I'll bring the chopper back and when I get the wagons empty, I'll bring them back as soon as possible. They're like, sure. I'd love they the they said that'd work. If you need an extra hand, give us let us know. Get someone to come run the chopper for you or something like that. I was like, well, I'll just pull them behind as long as they'll hook on the back of the chopper and I'll just keep her doing. So instead of hiring someone to come run the chopper first when we can just pull the wagon behind. It kinda would've worked. It kinda would have worked a little bit better going that route compared to getting these other wagons and not using our own wagons, but unfortunately we can't make that happen so we'll just be able to do this so what i'm thinking we're going to end up doing is getting another server going um we'll get the millennial farmer series going on this i will turn the autumn oaks probably into my single player but riley and i will probably still end up doing this turn the millennial farmer map into where we'll do the big millennial farmer series and also have another farm on there where Ryler, Michael, and whoever wants to play can go on there and they'll do their own thing on the other farm and make it look like Randy or we'll make it like the Master Pipe Layer farm. Randy will have his own kind of farm on there too to make it more something like that along those lines. Not probably because they'll run whatever equipment they want type deal I'm thinking. Or what do you guys think of that situation? Because Autumn Oaks it's just kind of a small map on the millennial farmer map we would be able to get away with that there'd be enough land for them to run the rest of the land on there and keep them busy out of trouble that way they'd always have something to do i think that's what we might end up doing on the like the taking the dedicated server and putting on that out um another question is what dedicated server company are you, you guys using there's like you know trado out there and g portal that i know of there might be some other ones but i'm really thinking about trying something else out because i am still having issues with g portal it is not running the way it should be um, these are mods that we've always been using i have not narrowed it down on what's going on i've been checking the log the log's not really showing as much so if any of you guys have any um opinions on what dedicated server company i should use i'm thinking about trying to try out if this one gives me any more grief because it is, I'm literally on the borderline with it right now. Because the other night with the stream did not help. It wanted to just restart all of a sudden through the middle of the stream. And I can't have that, unfortunately. Like, that made me a little bit upset. Because I kind of wanted to do a lot longer live stream. And I would have been able to get all this kind of stuff done. Compared to not being able to get it done now by myself if when i had the whole crew and everything we would have been able to do it perfect but then just all of a sudden people would or the server didn't restart people would just lose connection periodically like ryler michael would just lose connection because of the internet i think but there's tricks and camera just all of a sudden the three of them we beep 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 gone doesn't matter they just disappear so that kind of got really annoying pretty quick so I'm kind of scared to do another live stream on here with six people again. Like the server couldn't handle six people. So that's that's just showing me what if I put a 16 slot server on for something and 
what is that going to do? The same thing? Like, that is... Like, I've had no trouble at all with G-Portal, but it seems like all of a sudden I am starting to have so much trouble with them. But it looks like you guys are really enjoying the video, so smash that thumbs up button. We'll carry on shopping. We just about got this wagon full. This is where we put 4 to 1 instead of 2 to 1 in here. I think this one might be 5. So hopefully we get to the wagons. But we're going to fill all... What do I got? Four wagons to fill? I'm hoping I can pretty well get all four wagons on all of this. It looks like now I have grass down there again too, what I mowed secondly. So there's still... I might be able to get all the hay in some and then I'll be able to maybe get grass going and we'll be able to put the grass back on top of the other pit hopefully, but... I got a strange feeling, unfortunately, that will not work because I think we've waited too long to fill the pit, but really it shouldn't matter because we kind of been going since the first day. We sped up before we started going on um, actually filling the bunker and chopping, but the hay and stuff has been cut for like a while, unfortunately. That's probably where it's starting to mess up. Looks like we're going in the corn a little bit. But that's kind of where I'm thinking is kind of screwed up is it's setting too long but I never really because that's one thing I don't know is if it's a server or it's just a game with different mods conflicting things like I am not too sure like we're trying new stuff out all the time but realistically it shouldn't do this kind of stuff like you would think they need to make, like, I wish they could make like, a dedicated server log a little bit more in depth on what the actual issue, this mod is making this mod, conflict with this, or something along those lines. Not just this mod air, this mod warning. A little bit more in depth would be nice. So we'll just fill the wagons wherever we probably bring them back and we'll unhook them on strips or something along those lines. So we'll probably get one more hay, one or two more hay, and then we will be loading grass wagons again. Unhook that one, whip around, bag her up. So we got this strip and a couple more over there to get, but I think this is only like a half, a half winter or something along those lines. Whoa! Turn over there. There we go. Another question is, how much real-life content, like, farming-wise stuff would you guys like to see? As much as I can type deal when we uh, get rolling with harvest and stuff like that. Um, I think it's going to be quite interesting with the amount of content and stuff we'd be able to do. But the way everything is looking, I am going to try my best to keep posting seven days a week. There might be one week or two that I might only post, like, six. But I'm thinking if I post six days a week and try and do a live stream one of them, that's pretty decent. I don't know. What do you guys think of that? Something like that. We try and do a live stream each week. But that's... I'm going to have to hopefully get better internet because I can't rely on Ryler to do one every week, unfortunately. Like, it's kind of fun. But at the same time is I almost need better people that are going to be more mature because... What happened in the last live stream is I do not want it to happen again. It's just, we're not going to go down that road. But it's really starting to get really warm outside again. So the heat and stuff like that, I think it's going to... There's some soybeans around here starting to change uh, color. So hopefully very soon we will be in the fields harvesting beans. Doing some disripping and stuff like that will be first. And then we'll be, uh, hopefully another week or two. Well, I think it'd be more like October, like the end of, closer to the end of the month. We'll be able to actually get in to do some field work. There'll be some disrupting and stuff, wheat ground, and hopefully the lima beans and stuff will be off by then. And we'll be working on that. But I'm kind of excited for that. I'm really thinking about actually getting a drone, because I think I can make some pretty good content with a drone. I just have to learn how to actually fly a drone, but that's only a minor detail, I think. Until I crash it, and then I get 
pissed off with it more or less. I don't know. Would you guys like drone footage? That's kind of another thing. But if you guys do, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe. Help support the channel. But yeah, I guess you kind of kind of chop by yourself. I wasn't too sure if I'd be able to do all this. Like I originally thought I was gonna have to pack, push. Pack, load, a whole bunch of stuff. You see that grass is not even registering. Wow, dirt. Gotta get her off. Oh, I guess we got enough over here. Hopefully, fill the wagon. These are a little bit heavier windrows, but I think this is where, yes, this is where we were putting like five to six in a windrow. Making it a little bit heavier. I think that's where these were uh, made when I was over here messing around. This is like the first strip that I raked, I'm quite sure. But you guys seem to be liking the enjoying the Millennial Farmer series and along with the Autumn Oaks, I am really, I really enjoy doing the Autumn Oaks series. I honestly do. There's a little bit on that laneway we gotta clean up and then I think we'll have her. Oh, there'll be a little bit up at the pit. I think that's the only other spot we have up there. But when we're right here, I will uh, just swap wagons and we will start doing the grass again. Too bad I wouldn't be able to play like music doing it. I think it'd be more fun. Unless I did like non copyrighted music. I made it turn into like a radio station type deal. That'd be kind of cool. So we got two wagons of hay, and I'm not too sure if we're going to have enough storage to be able to get all the grass in those two wagons there or not, hopefully. Oh, one hook the head. So I'll have to grease the chopper up and clean her up nice, clean the cab out. Need to get those fancy hitches that, um, I don't know if you guys have ever watched, like, the One Lonely Farmer... Who else has it? I don't know. There's a couple people. There's like a hitch where you can just kind of back up, and then you know, without having to actually get out of the cab. I don't know what you'd call that kind of a hitch, but it's pretty common on like a chopping crew to see would have that. If anybody has something like that or knows what I'm talking about, is gray. Let me know down below. But I think that would be kind of cool to for uh, farm sim to have. Well, farm sim basically has that automatic hooking up hitches and stuff. Compared to manual hitch, that'd be kind of nice to actually have in uh, 22 is you'd actually physically have to get out and hook the PTO up, hook the hydraulics up, hook the ch chains up, safety chains, the lights, like all that kind of stuff. That'd be a pretty cool feature if I would uh, be able to make that. But I am really glad to see Giants are starting to make the game more American compared to they're European like they always do. They still do a fair bit of European, don't get me wrong, but it seems like they're pu actually putting in a US version map now. I think that's pretty cool. To actually have a US version map, um, they're starting to get quite a few US tracker stock in there now. They got like 9Rs and stuff like that. More American what do they got? Pickup trucks, I think there's pickup trucks, Peterbelts, stuff like that in there. I'm not 100% sure. But they'll uh, very soon hopefully release the their equipment list. They usually do something like that, getting closer to. But we're only in September, well, I guess end of October. End of August, sorry. 
and they'll probably release it like the month before like everything they're still putting minor details into it getting the map and getting all the bugs and stuff figured out what else they need to fix in it like giants they've been only i don't know how long giants have probably been working on this game i don't know if they've been actually working on it since farming simulator 19 got released type deal or they've been still i think they've been still kind of working on that but i bet you there's been some people working on the next farming simulator as well like i wonder how long it would actually take to make a farming simulator game like create it and all this kind of stuff maybe i'd be able to get a hold of giants and we'll be able to do like an interview on that kind of something like that It'd be kind of cool because i am really curious to find all this stuff out but i think like vidcon or something like that it's called like you guys, you'd find probably quite a bit out on that. GameCon or something like that? GameCon or something. I think it's GameCon. I think it's Cleaning the grass, cleaning the hay fields up pretty nice. We'll have to, I think we've pretty well got fertilizer spread on all these. Would you guys like a fertilizing video where I come around and we actually go around and we'll spray corn and stuff like that and get everything fertilized probably in like a sped up video and I'll still talk through it and stuff kind of like that. Would you guys want something like that? Or do that off camera? Because there is quite a bit to do. We might still do that off camera, depends. If Ryler and Michael get bored and stuff like that and they're around, I'll probably give that to them and they can go ahead and get everything ready and we will be harvesting wheat or cutting hay again or probably honestly be doing corn silage next. Between corn silage and wheat will be the next two main fun tasks on here. Got a little few misses, but not too bad. I don't know. It'd be pretty close if we can get her on another wagon. Be close. Because these fields will yield, uh, they'll yield a little bit better than paired to the grass that we cut off the strips and everything. Because this stuff actually got fertilized stage, compared to the other grass, unfortunately, does not. Like, this can get limed and get everything it needs to. Compared to having nothing on it. Because if you don't give grass fertilizer, it doesn't grow unless... Like, it'll grow, but it'll take a long period of time to get it where you'd like it and make it heavy. jump on this row here. Oh, I know what happened. I got into that hay and now it thinks we're going to be picking up hay. Sun hooked the head. The wagon. There we go. That's what I think, because there's a chunk of hay or something. And I notice when you harvest and grain and stuff and farm some, like if you get pretty close to an actual different plant of crop, if you're harvesting wheat and oats in the same field or something like that, if you got pretty close to it, it wouldn't work. Like it would, all of a sudden you would, wouldn't either get the crop or it'd just quit cutting and you'd be able to drive through the field and your crop, unfortunately, if you have crop structure, that would be another issue. I'm quite sure of that. Haven't had that issue in a while, but if you're starting out on a map like that, sometimes you run into that issue where there, there was a crop and then you planted into it or after lab in the field or something along those lines. But if you guys did enjoy the video, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, turn on that post notification. Let me know what you thought. Let me know in your, my uh, questions. If you guys have any other questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below, and I will respond to you as soon as I can. 
and take care take it easy keep in touch and don't forget to come back tomorrow and check out a brand new video and thanks for watching take care guys